up, freaks? This is Andrew from the Freaks with Nature podcast coming to you again with an episode of Freak Finds. Now, this one is very special because I finally get to review the Halloween box set. Okay, now if you're a listener of the podcast and you already listened to this week's episode, it's entitled The Death of a Salesman. And you heard the crazy journey that I had to go through to get this set and how I was almost scammed by somebody from a PayPal scam online. Uh, but was persistent and fought and got my items. Uh, if you haven't heard it, I implore you, please go check it out. It's it's a fantastic listen after the fact. Uh, it, it was a crazy situation and I met crazy with my own level of crazy and that's just what I do. Um, but everything worked out. I have everything. You might have also seen the video that I made. when I, Once I received the items, I, I did do a video because they smelled like cigarettes really bad. Like the scent of smoke was terrible. So I actually did some methods and uh, I did some cleaning and I got, got, got them to be mostly smoke free. So everything was a total success and they smell good now a couple of days later. Uh, so I'm going to start the video with the triple feature with the Friday the 13th Killer Cut, which is the remake from 2009, Nightmare on Elm Street remake, which is from 2010, and Freddy vs. Jason, which uh, has nothing to do with either of those, but it's cool to have the Blu-ray of that. So here's the case, okay? You can see here, all three of these are the separate single release DVD arts, and they're just kind of locked together here. Killer Cut, of course, is, uh, you know, the extra special director's cut of the already cool movie. Um, when you take a look at the back, there's nothing really to it. It doesn't get into special features at all. Uh, you see here it goes through the ratings. And, of course, they have the original. It's not advertised, but if you look here... They have the original theatrical version of the Friday the 13th film as well. So you have two versions of this film and you have this film and you have this film. So this is essentially four movies, but nothing in the way of special features advertised. So what I know about this is this is the regular single edition release of each of these films. So you're going to have the same, uh, same, special features that you would if you just picked this up when it came out. There's not gonna be anything uh, new or crazy exciting on this. Why this is cool to have now is these films are actually kind of hard to find. Uh, a Nightmare on Elm Street in particular, I found out while trying to collect it that it's out of print. A movie from 2010 is out of print. Um, now, you can find it at FYE and uh, through some other means, but the FYE version, it's actually an FYE exclusive and it goes for about 40 bucks. So I wasn't pumped about that. I didn't want to have to drop 40 bucks just to have this remake. And um, when I found the opportunity to pick this up along with the Halloween films that I'm gonna review, I jumped on it. It was too good to be true. It turned out to be too good to be true, uh, but it's in my hand, I have the stuff. So opening the case. What's annoying is I hate these. I've always hated these. I'm all for saving the planet. Let's do that. Let's fix the earth. Let's go green. Don't fuck with my DVD cases. All right, this doesn't protect anything. Okay. Um, so we have here, there's the Blu-ray. Yeah, swinging that on over. And there's the individual Blu-ray. And then the Freddy vs. Jason one. All right, there's no theme or anything. These are all just the separate releases put into a new box together. Uh, so I like every one of these movies. Freddy vs. Jason is fantastic. It's always been a favorite of mine. Uh, and this remake and this remake are both fantastic. They're superb. I like them. There's a lot of people that didn't. I saw both in theaters. I don't regret it at all. I've always enjoyed them. I like the different take that they took with The Nightmare on Elm Street. Jackie Earl Haley did a great job. Nobody's ever gonna be Robert England. He didn't try. He did his version and I thought it worked out pretty well. As far as the Friday the 13th goes, this movie is a love letter to this entire franchise. And I just don't understand the hate that they got and I'm super pumped that I have them. So now I'm gonna move on to Halloween 10 disc set, a rarity, hard to find, out of print. This was a big deal for me. 
okay? Um, this is not the only version that was released. When this was released, they also released a super special edition that they printed even less of that included um, 10 individual sets. So you have like the case for all of them. So the case is probably about this much bigger. It has every single DVD, Blu-ray release in there uh, with their own case. I'm gonna get into that. That plays into collectability for me. But this is a rarity. This is not something that you can find easily. And I managed to get this for these two things included. I managed to get for $61. Now, I have seen this go at a bare minimum of 80 bucks plus shipping. So I never never jumped on that because it just was just a little too much at the times that I was looking at it. Um, now, I bought this. I was looking again on eBay and this very set, it, there's an asking price of 300. Um, that, that's ludicrous, but it demonstrates how hard it is to find because people inflate prices, okay? There's a lot of demand for this and it's out of print, so inflation exists. Uh, the reason I got this at the price that I did was somebody was trying to scam us. Um, and I just happened to clap back and I, so I got it at a good price. So enough about that, listen to the podcast. Okay, here's the box. Nice image of Michael Myers here. Turn it around, Halloween, you got the jack-o'-lantern. And then over here, the details, the films and some special features. And of course, you know, you have your Michael Myers there and a little bit of information about the release. Okay, now I'm gonna take them out. Taking that away, this is a cardboard box that you slip some DVD cases into it. Not that special. Uh, as a collector, like I said, I'm always looking for something cool. Um, it, would, it would be cool if this came in a Michael Myers mask or something similar to that. Um, I used to have the Futurama box set that came in a giant bender head. That's what I like. I like collectability. I like things that are cool. Um, I wasn't able to track down the super rare version of this and I still might someday, but I am grateful to have this and I appreciate what I have. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a look here. We have Halloween one through five. And you turn it around, there's the spine. And then that's what the back looks like right here. And I'll get into reading some of these special features for you. So, special features on John Carpenter's Halloween. You have an audio commentary with writer-director John Carpenter and actor Jamie Lee Curtis. You have a new audio commentary with director of photography Dean Kundi, editor Tommy Lee Wallace, and the shape himself, Nick Castle. Okay, so that's actually, that's brand new. One up, brand, this came out about two, three years ago. So, relatively new, new to this. Uh, not featured on any other release prior to this. Uh, you have uh, the Night She Came Home featurette. You have an on location, 25 years later featurette. The TV version footage, uh, theatrical trailer, and TV radio spots. Of course, it is 1080p high def, widescreen presentation. Uh, moving on to Halloween 2, you got an audio commentary with director Rick Rosenthal and actor Leo Rossi. Audio commentary with stunt coordinator Dick Warlock. You have The Nightmare Isn't Over, the making of Halloween 2. You have Horror's Hallowed Grounds, revisiting the original shooting locations. And uh, that is a feature that will uh, continue on throughout the other releases. Uh, that's a multi-disc documentary. Um, after that, you have deleted scenes with optional audio commentary with director Rick Rosenthal on an alternate ending with optional commentary with director Rick Rosenthal. Still gallery, theatrical trailer, TV radio spots, also presented widescreen high def. All of them will be, I won't get into that part anymore. Uh, Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, super unappreciated to this day. And look, when I was a kid, I was one of those guys that shat on that movie. And it's wrong. It's a fantastic movie. It stands on its own very, very well. Uh, so, of course, you have Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, audio commentary with writer-director Tommy Lee Wallace. You have Standalone, the making of Halloween 3, Season of the Witch, featuring Tommy Lee Wallace, Tom Atkins, Stacey Nelkin, Dick Warlock, Dean Kundi, and more. 
and then Horror Solid Grounds, revisiting the original shooting locations, okay? Uh, after that, you have Still Gallery, Theatrical Trailers, and TV Spots. So, you got a lot on the first three movies. Now, I'm going to notice a trend here as we move on to the end of this set. In my hand right here, there's a lot less special features. So, for four and five, they certainly were a little less popular than the other ones. Uh, there's a little less special features, which kind of bothers me. But uh, we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at what they do offer. So... The Return of Michael Myers, an audio commentary with actors Ellie Cornell and Daniel Harris. Audio commentary with director D.H. Little and author Justin Bean. And then you have the theatrical trailer. And that's all that's on that disc. Uh, Halloween 5, The Revenge of Michael Myers, you have audio commentary with actor Don Shanks and author Justin Bean. You have audio commentary with Dominic Othenin Gerard and actors Daniel Harris and Jeffrey Landman. After that, you have Halloween 5 on the set, and then Halloween 5, original promo, and theatrical trailer. So that concludes all of the special features on these movies on the first set of five. Uh, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna show you here. You have Halloween, and then you flip it over, Halloween 2, there's Halloween 3, Halloween 4 and Halloween 5. Now the first thing that jumps out is these are all um, the separate artwork for each of these releases. If you bought the Blu-ray of this, it would probably look identical to this. There isn't a uniform look of art on any of these, which takes points away from me. So moving on, the next one, you start at The Curse of Michael Myers to H2O to Resurrection to the Rob Zombie films, okay? Uh, here's what it looks like. See the comparison between the masks here? And then the side spine right there, same thing. You have different look of the mask, which is cool. And then the back is similar to the other one. So. Uh, special features on Halloween, The Curse of Michael Myers. Nothing, basically. You got a theatrical trailer, you have TV spots, and a still gallery. And that's all that they offer. Um, one thing that I thought would be cool is if they included the producer's cut of this film, because it re was released the same year. Okay? After that, we have Halloween H2O, which has a little more. Okay? So there's a new commentary with director Steve Miner and Jamie Lee Curtis, and that's moderated by Sean Clark. You have a new... The Making of Halloween H2O, vintage interviews and behind the scenes footage in a theatrical trailer. And it's crazy to think that 98, 99 now is considered vintage because I lived through it. And here I am 32 years old now. I use the word vintage for a movie that I watched when it came out in theaters. And that kind of blew my mind reading that. After that, you have Halloween Resurrection. Audio commentary with director Rick Rosenthal and editor Robert A. Ferretti. Now, Rick Rosenthal, you might remember, was the director of Halloween 2. So all these years later, he comes back for resurrection. Um, you have alternate endings, deleted scenes, a featurette called Head Cam, storyboard analysis, a set tour with production designer Troy Hansen, set interview with Jamie Lee Curtis, vintage interviews, theatrical trailer and a tv spot now if you were to tell me that halloween resurrection would have more special features on a blu-ray box set than h2o or the curse of michael myers or return of michael myers or revenge of michael myers i would be flabbergasted because in my opinion halloween resurrection is the worst one some people say h2o there's a lot of people that don't like uh four five and six um in my opinion, Halloween was uh, Halloween Resurrection was uh, the worst of the whole franchise. It's been a long time since I watched it. I'm actually looking forward to watching this again. Maybe my opinion will change. Uh, after that, we got Halloween 2007, Rob Zombie's film. Unrated director's cut with feature-length commentary with writer-director Rob Zombie. So you got the director's cut. Deleted scenes with optional commentary. Alternate ending with optional commentary. Bloopers. The Many Masks of Michael Myers, which of course was this really awesome documentary about the masks that he goes through. Um, Reimagining Halloween, Meet the Cast, Casting Sessions, 
Scout Taylor Compton screen test. I'm always a fan of the screen tests and theatrical trailer. So good bit of special features and documentaries on the Rob Zombie film. And of course we have Halloween 2 from 2009, also directed by Rob Zombie. Uh, you have deleted and alternate scenes, audition footage, always fun to watch, makeup test footage, blooper reel, Captain Clay at the Night Creatures, music videos. Those are cool. I always like having that extra cool. Uh, anything cool that you could add. And I talked on, on another video about music videos being included and I'm always like pumped about those. I actually, I have found musical acts that I enjoy through DVDs. Uh, commentary with writer-director Rob Zombie. And then you have Uncle Seymour Kaufman's stand-up routines. So there's a lot of fun stuff on the zombie stuff. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this one up. It does not look unlike the other one. So you open it up and of course you have film information here and then the Blu-rays here could literally all just be sold on their own. It's just the DVD cover art for their individual releases. That bothers me a lot. I had the Halloween Blu-ray. This is exactly what it looked like. Same there. This is essentially a very nice box set that includes all of the films up to that point in one collection. It's super cool to have. It's more cool to have because it's rare and out of print. Um, I would give this honestly seven and a half to an eight out of 10 because you lose a lot of collectability when you stuff five movies into one case and they do that twice here. And uh, this is cool too, but there's not much to it. Um, you just, it can, it's sleek, it can fit on a shelf. That's what people like. I want a pumpkin that's about this big with all of the discs and I, and I want a hundred special features and I want the discs to look uniform. So seven and a half, maybe an eight out of 10. I'm super grateful that I have it. It is awesome. But I'm gonna move on to some other things, okay? So in addition to that, I, I just completed my Halloween set. Here I have Halloween, Curse of Michael Myers, producer's cut, okay? And here you go, that is what the case art looks like. And there's the spine, and here's what it looks like on the back. As you can see, as far as special features go, literally nothing advertised. Uh, it advertises that there that the unrated producer's cut features nearly 70 minutes of unedited footage and on the back it says return to Haddonfield and experience the unrated extended Halloween curse of Michael Myers producer's cut in crisp HD taken from the original work print of the film the producer's cut often called Halloween 666 among fans includes almost 70 minutes of alternate unedited footage as well as a shocking alternate ending also starring legendary actor Donald Pleasance and Paul Rudd. So the movie's a lot different. I, I've never seen this. I'm pretty pumped to watch this. Um, it would have been awesome if it was A, included in this set, or B, had special features to go along with the release, but uh, beggars can't be choosers and I'm glad that it exists and I'm glad that I own it. So I'm gonna pop this open and here, you can see, uh, again, different art. So it doesn't look like the same art of the other release, which is cool, at least in some degree. You have still this horrible uh, recycled Blu-ray case. And that's all that uh, goes with that. Finally, I have Halloween 2018, okay? And this is the regular Blu-ray edition. Uh, there is the spine. There's the back, and here we go. Bonus features with deleted and extended scenes, back in Haddonfield, making Halloween, the original Scream Queen, uh, the Sound of Fear, Journey of the Mask, and the Legacy of Halloween. So there's some nice special features here. I'm excited to look at them. Uh, I would want more. Um, although I know that there are other cases, you, there's a, a still book of this, and then the 4K, of course, uh, looks exactly like this as well. So I assume it's all the same. I don't think that there are any differences in special special features. Um, so you open it up and it is a two disc set and they're uniform. And that 
is what the cases look like. Uh, I love all of these movies. I mean, I haven't seen the producer's cut, but I like Curse of Michael Myers a lot. I'm glad that I have it. This was something that was important for me as a collector to finally have. Um, of course, when I originally collected, I did own them separately, but now I have them here. I hope this video was informative. Uh, I hope uh, if you're trying to collect or make any uh, uh, observations about these before you purchase them, I hope that I could have been some kind of help. Um, it would be cool to have the large box. I am still looking into that. Um, I don't have $350 to waste on it. Um, just as a collector, I'm always collecting and I want everything. Okay, I'm a hoarder of movies, essentially. Uh, all of these were great buys. Uh, I'd rate this whole transaction uh, amazingly if I didn't have so much trouble actually obtaining my items. Um, so, seven and a half, eight out of 10, all around. Uh, I'm gonna check you later. I'm at 21 minutes, that's way too long. Uh, stay freaky and keep your eyes out because I have a lot more coming.